it's me, Tippy, and finally I'm going to share my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. This is a nighttime skincare routine, meaning this is different from my daytime skincare routine. Both are very, very important to me. If you do want to see my 7-step nighttime skincare routine, then please keep on watching. Disclaimer, these brands that I've come up with, I didn't come up with them, these brands that I've loved using for the past few months, some of them for the past year, um, may not be the specific brands that may work for you. All of these products, you know, it took me a while before I found them in my life and I'm sure probably next year, the year after that, these brands may change because sometimes you want to change it up, you find brands that are better for you, you find brands that do not work the same way for you anymore, especially since you're aging and your skin type may change through the years. So this is just for me right now and I've been using these for months. I love them, um, but you know, all our skin types are different and so you may have to find the good products that work for you. These brands may be a no-no for you, like some brands for you may be a no-no for me. But I've tried and tested them out. You don't need to buy luxury brands to find the correct skincare products for you. You can go to the drugstore, you can go wherever you feel comfortable, whatever your budget um, may allow you to, to purchase. So I'm just sharing with you the order that I do my skincare routine and the products that I have. By that, I mean, alam mo yon, you can look for products or brands that have the same purpose and are more budget friendly. I'm not saying that these are luxury products because honestly, I'm a full time student and so I pay for all my skincare products. And <laughs> alam niyo naman, kailangan natin magtipid, but at the same time, kailangan din natin bumili ng very good products. So here is my seven step skincare routine. First, of course, we have my Pond's Acne Clear Anti Acne Facial Foam. I just got this at Watson's. Actually, I don't have just one facial foam that I stick to. I like different brands. Whatever I see at the grocery store or so Watson's or any drugstore, I go from Pond's to Neutrogena to Nivea to Cetaphil. But I feel as though Pond's always works the best for me. I feel like it cleanses my skin so much and I just feel refreshed after. So I love this. I already washed my face. So it's pretty clean. That's step number one. Wash your face really well. Afterwards, I just get some facial rounds. So this is just one piece and then I cleanse my face once more with some micellar cleansing water. So I use Garnier micellar cleansing water. Again, um, this is what I use now, but I've been changing it up. I've used, uh, this is Garnier, I've used Biore. I've used, what is that green? Simple, simple micellar cleansing water, that's also good. There are a lot of brands out there, you just have to find which works for you. Honestly, I haven't found any micellar cleansing water which made my skin react, so whatever brand I see first and whatever is cheapest at the moment, that's what I get. So we just cleanse once again, so this is step two. Why are we cleansing again? Because our facial foam is not enough. Of course, there's still a little bit of dirt on the facial round. So yeah, this is important because you still need to clean the gunk that is left on your face even after you wash with a good uh, facial wash. My skincare routine is not perfect, but this has worked for me for years, so please just comment down below nicely if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm just sharing with you what I do at home. So our third step now is our facial toner. There are two facial toner brands that I absolutely love. Um, first is Thayer's Facial Toner. I use Rose Petal right now. I love this because it smells really light. It smells of rose, of course, but it's alcohol-free. So I feel like even though I'm using this and it does clean up my face, um, there's no sting, like as if you're using an astringent. 
Um, I have nothing against astringents. It's just that for my face, I feel like it gets really red after an astringent. So that's why I don't really use those. I use alcohol-free toner. And the other brand that I love using as well is Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. This is really nice. It's um, a 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. This brand is also alcohol-free and both brands um, you can get locally. So this I just got from Watson's. And this, I got it from Sephora, but I do believe that they have Pixie products in SM department stores. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen SM make, uh, I've seen Pixie makeup products in SM department stores, so I'm not so sure if you can get this from there. But this is a brand that I love and I use. I've been using this is my second bottle, so I love it. So this is what we're gonna use. we have our fourth step which is my um, eye cream so this is Clinique all about eyes reduces circles and puffs dark circles are my enemy um, I don't really have bad puffy eye bags but I do have dark circles which is why concealer is my best friend so I don't know how effective this is because I still have dark circles. I think it's just in the jeans, but I still put it anyway to reduce any puffiness or uh, maybe my dark circles would be worse if I don't put it on. Oops, sorry. That's it. And now we move on to our step number five, our fifth step we have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. Uy, mag focus ka kaya. After 10 years, nag focus ka din. Hoy, sakit ka mag focus. <laughs> Step number five, serum. This is the step before my favorite step. But wait, let's do this step first. So we just squeeze the top part so that it gets all the good juices there. We just put a droplet here, 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 here. And then I put, oh my god, sayang. Yeah, you have to do it in front of the camera. I just use my middle finger and my ring finger to spread that on just so it's gentle on my skin. Don't forget the neck. The neck is very important. But of course when you're under your eye, do not rub it so much because you don't want to get your eye cream off. And then we move on to my favorite part, the moisturizer. I love this. That's why when you see and I say goodnight to you guys in the videos, my face is so wet and moisturized because I love putting moisturizer. If you watched my old skincare routine, I also used a bunch of Clinique products. This is a brand that I swear by. I love it so much. But, you know, I've been trying other brands because I don't think this is sustainable at the moment. It is um, quite a pricey brand. Um, so, I've been looking at different brands from the drugstore, which I have a sample product. Siguro mga ganito lang kaliit na Olay whipped, uh, whipped Moisturizer. I like it, but I'm still trying to get through this jar. So, this is my Clinique. Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. It's a 72-hour auto-replenishing hydrator. I love it. So let's put it on our face. As in the next day, you still feel super hydrated, super moisturized. <sighs> Set up. I just get a good amount. I know I don't have a spatula, but I cleaned my fingers naman. So... Mm. 
lather that onto your skin and to your neck it's important you don't want your neck to age faster but then there's nothing wrong with aging of course but why not help your skin age better right let's get the one that i know dropped on my leg sayang mahal yan and we're on to our last step actually everything is good for my skin already this is my last skincare step but I have a bonus step which is also very important that's to take care of your lips so you can just get any lip moisturizer um, what is that you see got Vaseline you can get that or whatever lip balm you like but just make sure to treat your lips at night this is uh, L'Occitan L'Occitan Shea Butter this is what I use for my lips at night. So I just use my pinky finger. Just get a little bit. Put some on my lips. And that's it for our 7-step skincare routine. Again, guys, you do not. You do not. You do not. You do not have to buy the exact same brands. You need to find the best skincare products for your skin. And that comes with trying and testing out different products. I am a firm believer that skincare does not have to be expensive. You can go to the drugstore and find brands that will work perfectly with your skin. But do not be discouraged if some brands do not work for you. Because, you know, we have different skin types and we have different needs. We have um, different problem areas with our skin and so you know just try and try until you succeed and that's it for our seven step skincare routine my camera is out of battery so i'm just using my phone right now anyway thank you so much for watching my skincare routine i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found new steps that may be useful for all of you um please do comment down below any suggestions for next videos that you would like to see from my channel i hope all of you are safe and healthy and i love you guys